welcome to the Victorian High Country. G'day guys, well here we are in the Victorian high country to capture some stunning landscape photography this weekend. Uh, now we're camping here for a few nights, I have actually brought the family along as I've mentioned which is uh, all good and fun. Now one thing I always think about is different perspectives, I mean you can you can stay at the standard height, some people get down low which works well if you've got a nice foreground, um, but in this case uh, sometimes I actually prefer to get up quite high. Now one advantage of coming into the high country is you need a four-wheel drive for access to a lot of these tracks, as you'll see in this video. Um, also, I'm standing on a, a roof rack on the top of my car, which handles oh, hundreds of kilos, so there's no problems there whatsoever that it's going to handle me and my camera. It's got nice wide slats, and it's just it's very stable. It's, the suspension in the car moves, but as far as the actual rack itself goes, not a movement whatsoever. Well, they say half the fun of landscape photography is the adventure. And what better place to have an adventure? Just driving down a track and come across a little stream. So what better place to uh, let the kids have a bit of fun in the little stream. The wife's doing her good old supervision. That's always a good thing. And I just had to stop and get a, get a shot of the, uh, the waterfall trickling down here. Now, I didn't bother walking you through the uh, the settings on the camera only because it's a uh, it's quite slippery up there and there wasn't much chance to hold a camera video camera as well as uh, taking a shot So we've just got the uh, water boiling here. Couple, you know, a couple of cuppers ready to go. So I'm gonna sit back, enjoy a cuppa at this awesome spot and keep moving. Absolutely beautiful spot overlooking the great spans of the high country hills. In all honesty, you wouldn't find a cattleman's hut up on top of a hill like this because it gets very windy up here. But it is a gorgeous spot for photographers. Now, I've been up here many a time, I've witnessed it at sunrise, sunset, middle of the day. I've done some astro work over it. Today, as I said, this trip was all about the family uh, as well as a bit of photography. So. We're here sort of mid to late afternoon, not great light on it. Um, I did take one shot, I didn't talk you through it, but just a rundown, it was uh, just manual settings, I think it was 1 400th of a second, F11, ISO 100, and I was running a circular polarizer. Now the difference with this shot to my other ones is I ran the 70 to 200 F4 lens. Uh, I took the shot from a fair way back. Now what I was trying to do was compress the view between the hut and Mount Cobbler in the background. 
I also run a circular polarizer just to take that, bring the blues down, take the glare, take the, uh, the haze off everything. Kind of absolutely gorgeous. Well, we've had a big day of driving around, just taking in the sights, doing a little bit of photography, just scouting out locations for when the light's a bit better. But uh, I'm just getting tea ready for the family at the moment, and I'm liking the way the, uh, the lights are lighting up the trees on the other side of Lake Cobbler here. So I reckon, once we've had tea, once that sun goes down a little bit more and that's, that, that glow becomes a little bit more golden, I think I'll be heading back down here just for a, just for a nice wide angle shot to, to highlight the trees, the reflection in the water. Just with a, um, I'll probably run a six stop ND just to smooth that water out. I reckon it's going to come up great, guys. Well, this brings us to the end of another landscape photography adventure, this time to the magnificent Victorian high country. Uh, look, I hope you've enjoyed the images I've gotten from this trip and, and enjoyed just seeing the adventure that goes into these trips. Now, I do want to just a quick apology. Um, there were quite a few shots that I took that I didn't get to talk you through, uh, simply because it, you just run out of time. I mean, like this one right here. This shot, I woke up... Uh, it was the first morning we woke up by the lake. I looked out the window, uh, quarter past seven, the, the sun was in the right spot, there was fog over the lake, and there was, I had no time to, to even think about doing a video. I just bolted out with the camera, took a few compositions that I really liked, and, and came up with that image. Um, yeah, just, just didn't have enough time. But all good. Um, now, again, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, keep an eye out for more of them coming up soon. So, time to hit the road, and take care, guys. Cheers.